Hello and welcome back, and that is right. Today we are going to look at the very best two bay NAS to buy right at the start of 2022. And that's very, very important, that first bit there. This is for the start of 2022. We don't know what's going to happen by the summer. We don't know what hardware is going to arrive on the scene. We don't know what's going to come, what's going to go, what's going to get refreshed, what's going to get to the boot. But ultimately, this is about knowing what is the best two bay for your money? Because maybe you're finding yourself in a position where you know, you're moving away from Google Drive and Dropbox, you're moving away from cloud services that you were spending 10, 15, 20, 30 nicker a month for, and you're moving on to a NAS. Now, if you are a user that's making that jump, I generally find that most two bay users have a budget of around three to 500 nicker. Now, I say nicker, it can be pounds, it can be dollars, it can be Australian dollars, Hong Kong dollars, it can be euros, it can be anything. Ultimately, it comes down to you moving away from that subscription service. You've weighed up how much that cloud service costs you every month, times it by 12 for the year, times it by two or three years, and you've come by that number. And two bays very comfortably sit within that bracket there. Now, two bay NASs, for them to be considered right now, it's worth highlighting. I'm going to recommend my three highest recommend or best two bays that you should buy at the start of 2022. Now, to funnel this down, there's actually a lot. If you work out the number of two bays that have been released in the last five years alone, there are hundreds of them still on the market from budget to premium grade solutions. So in order to finalize this down, I had a preset range of kind of parameters that have to be followed. So first and foremost, they have to be supportive of a myriad of different file services and tools. So again, we're talking multimedia, we're talking multi-stage backups in conjunction with cloud, we're talking localized backups there, we're talking surveillance applications with cameras, we're talking container applications, we're talking snapshots there in the background, we're talking mobile client applications, desktop client applications, and full unrestricted access via the web browser, and that's a web browsers for Mac, for Windows, for Android, for Linux, all of them. These have to be solutions to have regular firmware updates, that have security updates to them regularly. They have to be user friendly. And ultimately, they've got to be an all encompassing solution that when you get it, you don't look back at the cloud and go, oh, I wish I stuck with Dropbox. That's really it. If they don't have all of the things I described, get out. But that still doesn't make it easier. There are a lot more solutions left in the market. So let's crack on straight away for my three most recommended two bays to buy at the start of 2022. So straight away, price. It's going to be really, really important to some of you, and particularly those that were already kind of sitting on the fence before going down into the two bay route. And in terms of you know what you're getting for your money for those in a tight budget hands down still a year on the best budget two bay is the Synology DS220J not just for hardware although the hardware isn't the most aggressive two bay out there but for what you're paying of around 179 about 199 dollars you are getting a very competent quad core ARM 64-bit processor from Realtek that handles 4k media and a myriad of Synology's own applications with DSM-7 supported, all of that within that price tag. There's no extras there. It's not all perfect. You can't get a price tag like that without certain compromises. One of the biggest compromises on this is certainly that half a gig of memory, 512 meg of DDR4 that can't be upgraded, which is a bit of a heel and having a slightly lower ceiling there. But in terms of budget, and if you are looking for the cloud experience, cloud access, cloud sharing, cloud options, cloud visibility via a single portal access point in your mobile devices at a tighter price point, the 220J is mwah, chef's kiss. It is spot on for your money there. Now, sticking with Synology, there's another one that we have to talk about, Value 2 base series there, and this comes down to the DS220J. Synology have always done a very good job of sticking the landing on the Value series there, but rather than Synology's use of the word value, which I've always thought they've thought value to mean type value, value for me from Synology there, once again, is the 220+. Plus. Always been a great middle line there, and when it comes to a lot of Synology solutions in the last 18 months, it has to be said, they've started including little features and hardware such as NVMe base that some users want to take advantage of, but not all. And a lot of users love the 220 Plus 
because arriving at its 250 to 280 dollar price tag you don't you're not forced to have NVMe slots on there. You've still got options like the 720 and bigger, but in the 220 plus there, you end up with all of the media support I mentioned in the previous 220J, but more stuff on there as well with support thanks to its Intel Celeron dual core processor, um, a two times um, 2.0 gigahertz CPU that can be burst up to 2.9 gigahertz. That CPU there with embedded graphics and 2 gig of DDR4 uh, 2666 megahertz memory that can be upgraded to 6 gig, weird number, um, means that it supports practically all of the Synology applications to a much, much, much larger degree. It's also great for home kind of easy level Plex Media server enjoyment there and of course their own video station application there with support of containers, support of the entire Synology collaboration suite of chat, docs, um, just the works, all of those apps are all included. It also has two years of warranty that can be upgraded to five years I understand and it has, a two, it has two LAN ports there on the rear for link aggregation. They are one gigabit ethernet which is a bit of a kick in the pants but overall at its price point, remember, it's only around 50 to $70 more than the unit we just talked about, but it's infinitely better being able to sustain multiple connected instances of applications and users more than the other two bay, and definitely, even though they're, you know, their rivals in the likes of Synology, Asus Thought, and Terramaster all have great two bays out there, none of them produce such a great blend of hardware and software at this price point, at this same level. But some of you want a two bay based on power. You want a two bay that although it can support two bays of storage, you've looked at the storage trends with 20 TB drives now on the market and gone, I can get away with 220 TBs. I want this thing to be the most powerful two bay on the market. And for that, we switch back over to QNAP here with the TS253D. Now, the 253D released in the early stages of 2020 is a great little power NAS there. It's got a quad-core Intel Celeron processor there, so that's four cores at 2.0 gigahertz per core that can be burst up to 2.7. Embedded graphics on board, arriving with four gig of DDR4 memory that can be upgraded to eight gig. This system is covered in connections and expandability. Notwithstanding, it can be bolted on with two, four, six, and eight bay um, storage upgrades. It also supports two times 2.5 GBE ports, so two, two and a half gig network ports. It's also got five USB ports on board. It's got HDMI on board. It's also got, um, that HDMI by the way is 4K 60 frames per second. It also has a PCIe upgrade slot there as well. PCIe Gen uh, 2 times 4 so up to 2000 megabytes per second throughput for upgraded upgraded cards of 10 gigabit Ethernet, upgraded cards of M2 um, SSD upgrades. So again those SSDs can be used for caching, tiered storage or independent storage volumes and even combo cards that allow you to add both M2 NVMe storage and a 10 gigabit Ethernet port to upgrade the device. This thing is powerful on day one with its three year warranty and is expandable in its storage, expandable in its warranty, expandable in its performance, and is easily to date the most powerful two bay NAS on the market. And all of this with it arriving at about $300 to 320, maybe 330. So again, not an enormous leap from the two that I've talked about infinitely more powerful in terms of its internal hardware, external hardware, and upgradability and scalability in its lifetime. So there you go. This has been the best priced NAS out there with the DS220J, the best value NAS with the Synology DS220 Plus, and the most powerful two bay out there in the QNAP TS253D. I hope you found this video helpful. I am going to be looking at more solutions and talking about my best for 2022, at least at the start. But do remember, this video is intended for its publication date at the start of 2022. If you are watching this, midway through the year like summer 2022 what's it like there in the future nice um there has almost certainly been new solutions out there and if i have not spoken about them i'd be very very surprised so maybe hold the figure off the buy button if you're watching this in july august time but otherwise thank you so much for watching click like if you've enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to learn more and take advantage of the free advice section over on nas compares linked in the description i will see you next time